Hey guys, how are we doing? Back again playing some more Westland Survival. How are we doing guys? Alright, so I'm going to go over to the Northern Outlaw Zone. So pretty much I've got everything that I need. Hopefully it's going to be enough for today, but we'll see how we go. Um, I'm banking on some warm uh, clothing when I'm in that zone, but we'll see how we go. But I really wanted to sort of take a peek and see um, this zone now that I've got the beta update. And just to see exactly, you know, what's changed, if anything, and um, how different is it compared to the current update that everyone else is uh, playing with at the moment. So we'll check it out. And I think I probably want to hit up all the other places as well in future videos. So like the other NPC um, houses as well. So I want to you know break into them now that I've got accessibility to the south. I'll have the accessibility to look at that zone as well, and this one here, I guess. Just to sort of give it a bit of a crack, and then, yeah. But for now, for today, we're going to jump into the Outlaw Camp. And hopefully we'll get some decent loot. Hopefully loot that we haven't got before, and hopefully it's not same-same. And let's see if it provides us a different challenge to what it has, or, you know, um, you know as it is for now. So... Right now, it looks, I think it looks the same. Um, so I think you get spawned into a different part of the, of the map here. So we'll just run around real quick. Oops, and I have grabbed the attention of certain people, which I didn't want. So I think I'm gonna have a welcoming party before I even get into the doors here. Yes, he says someone is watching me, absolutely. They are so... Okay. Well, that's the entrance here, which is pretty much the same. So, let's just take what we can for now. That is going to interest us the most. Now, I've got one of the better uh, weapons here. So, I've got the bayonet. And ideally, I wanted to grab this just so I can clear this out um, without any problems or, or issues or anything like that. Uh, for now, I'm just going to grab all the um, all the warm clothing that I can, and you know what? Actually, a lot of the guys now have been changed. I think. I mean, let me know what you guys have noticed um, now in the well in the current version, because again, I can't remember because um, it's been so long since I played the older version there. Because, don't quote me, but I remember that the guys were, a lot of them didn't have any sort of armor or clothing or anything. And so far, through the gates, um, you find that a lot of these people have changed. Um, they've got clothing on, which I guess that makes sense. <laughs> I mean, it should make sense. But, you know, that's all also good for us as well, because it gives us the ability to, um, you know, try and complete the zone a little bit easier. So let's just take out these guys here, nice and quick. Yeah, so which is awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to work out a mini strategy, I guess, and sort of work out how I sort of wanted to do this. So I think I'm going to do it this way. And I'm just going to grab everyone else's sets of armor is where, you know, where I can. Hi, uh, did you have anything else here? Uh, you know what, I'll leave that out for now. Because what we'll do is I'll just try my best and clear out all these guys here. And by the looks of things, these guys, you know what, I'm just going to put that back. They've only got standard hats, which basically gives me the reason to believe that you don't need the full set. Yeah, so that's interesting. So I'm just going to go ahead and clear everything out, I guess. So that's probably going to be the way we, we would do it. I really should get out of these guys' way. There we go. That makes a whole lot of sense, doesn't it? Okay. So I've got a relatively decent set here, which I might just hold off and using for now. And once everything else here breaks, I should be able to, yeah, just swap everything over, which they are on the verge of breaking, so... I guess as soon as I engage in another um, attack, so I'll let this guy run around. Since he's there on his own, 
And I guess as soon as he hits me, not even. Um, okay. So let's grab someone's attention over here. There we go. Alright, so that's, that's just a goon. And I'll take his bandage for sure. There we go. Okay, well, it's decent quality. I mean, you know, not bad, I guess, compared to what we've seen so far. Okay, so this is probably where I'm gonna lose most of my armor. There we go. Okay, so let's just gear up. There we go. Avoid the cold. And do I start replacing? I think that might be a good idea. Let's just take you out real quick. Okay, nope, I won't take any of that, but I will take that. And if anyone's got a hat, I'll grab those later. Okay, so, so far, nothing of interest. I mean, I haven't really gone into any of the... Into any of these chests yet, so... Looks like... Okay, so, there is a goon in there, so he's gonna come out. I think I might just draw everyone out, kind of thing. As best as I can, sort of one by one, kind of thing. Okay. Okay, so these guys are just going to try and keep hitting me here. Which, they're not going to have any luck, so I'm just going to sneak attack you. Thank you very much. And now that I've got the attention of everyone else in there, as soon as I open up that door, they're all going to come for me. Which is not going to be a good thing. So hopefully, I don't know if that's been changed either. If so, I mean that could be the hardest part of the of the zone here. You got four guys here with guns. So interesting enough. Uh, I'm just gonna heal up full strength. Okay, come on, guys. All right, boys. <coughs> Okay, what do you have? You've got nothing. Absolutely nothing. I'm going to take that water bottle. I'll tell you what, water bottles now are not as common as we would like to think that, that they are, which is not good at all. Especially with this new update. Alright, so we'll head back. I just want to clear out the zone and then we'll just go ahead and loot the whole place. I think that'll be good. Okay. So far, so good. And there's really not much up here. You just got, you know, basic ore here. You don't really have too much out, you know. Really much of anything. You know, that to say that, hey, take me kind of thing, but nah. I'm hoping that the chests have changed. Um, I'm also hoping that we get some better loot from this. And ultimately, I just hope it's not like a, a complete waste of time coming down this way. So I really want to, you know, would really like to think that a camp like this, you would have some decent, um, you know, decent items that you can definitely loot from. So let's hope that would be the case. And again, I do that. Oh my God. Oops. Okay. Okay. Anyway. Just take that water bottle, thank you. Alright, so I've got all the chests here, so we'll go open these up in a moment. I think that's it. Actually, I think that's it. Alright, so let's get started. Let's see what is in these, um, all these chests here. I'm hoping that there's some decent loot. And at least this, this way you guys will have, you know, some sort of um, idea as well if, it's, if you guys are going to make the trip. If it's going to be worth your while or not, who knows, but that's why I sort of wanted to show you guys today. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. But guys, if you guys are definitely new to the channel or if you are enjoying my content, be sure to hit that like button because um, that would really help me out, out a lot, especially with the, the new beta update as well. I want as many people to see this as possible and all for the right reasons, of course. So at least that way, um, everyone sort of knows what to expect. 
what what they need to do more than more importantly what you guys need to do as well so um, hopefully yeah this will help a lot of people but also uh, comment down below let me know what you think about this as well um, and if you guys are 100% new to my channel don't forget don't forget to hit that subscribe and notification bell buttons anyway let's continue on so so far nothing too crazy I mean there are some definite items that you would want to take with you which is obviously what I'm doing right now so um, especially you know the all the food there's some alcohol that we grabbed as well um, all these little things that you can obviously find in the other zones as well which is you know not an uncommon thing so you know if you want to take them you take them if not then obviously don't but at least you don't have to go back into those common zones to loot them for yourselves you've already done it here so why not I guess at the end of the day um, I'm just gonna consolidate put that there and I do have my horse for some extra storage so we'll see how we go with it all as well um, okay, so cool. Grab that, grab that. I've got all these back at home, so I'm not going to bother with them. Just the consumables that I know that I'm going to need. And if it saves me crafting certain items, then yeah, 100%, I'm not going to bother with it. So I'm going to run back to the horse here. Because now that we've cleared everything out, I'm just going to pop everything back to here. And that gives me a lot more inventory uh, to play with now, which is good. I'm just hoping we get some decent loot. That's all I care about right now. Okay, that's fine. <coughs> okay, so what do we have here? There we go. And, you know, some full quality, um, you know, boots don't go astray. Drink that. You make sure, yeah, you make sure you want to get these other, um, you know, cloths or textures and things like that as well, because again, these are things that, you know, are going to take, take time to sort of craft as well. The shale, I'm really not too worried about the shale because I don't think I need shale for the foreseeable future. Unless if certain recipes require me getting shale, then, you know, it's just a trip to the rocky plateau and I've got everything that I need, so I'm not going to really bother it too much. But things like the, um, the water skins here, I, I think we're going to have to start now stockpiling those as well because I got rid of a lot of them and this it's not just for single purpose either it's not not just only for um you know for the use of um you know hydrating your uh, yourself there but also it comes into um for your medical requirements as well and that's basically for all of your herbal infusions and things like that so you do need uh full water jars to um craft up those he um those healing uh, ointments and things like that so yeah, just, just a little tip for you guys. Okay, so we are getting there, I guess. And I'm getting nearly full. And I thought I'd bring a, an axe and a pickaxe to see if there was any other, you know, like maple or if there was iron or something like that. I would have, you know, crafted a few things. So, but unfortunately that is not the case. And I might have to start making a decision soon as to what I want to keep and, you know, toss out, I guess. Just going to double check up here. There's really nothing up this way, I don't believe. No, okay. So we'll head over to the house. Hopefully there's some good weaponry there. And, you know, better items. Okay, so let's take over this. <coughs> and let's have a look. What do we have? Okay, let's open up this one. Okay, so I'm just going to drink up all that and just take that. And what am I? I'm pretty much fully healed as it is. Um, what can I give up? Oh, that's nearly broken. I'll take that. And what's over here? So this is where the <laughs> the fun the fun begins. Basically, what do you keep? What do you take? Uh, there's nothing. Uh, there's something up here. 
Okay, we've got four more chests to open, or five actually, I think. Okay, so we've got some sulfur. Okay, so what do I want to keep? What do I want to take? Alright, the berries can go, that can come. I'll just eat the berries as it is. And so far, just raw materials seem to be, you know, the go here. Really not too much else that, you know, to come from these, unfortunately. Whoops, no, 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 take all. Okay, well, I've just made a problem there, didn't I? Um, I want to take that, take that, take that. This, I think I might leave behind. Because I'll take the nail as well. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, and I think that is the last or the second last. And okay, that is the last chest. So, that's pretty much it. I mean, <coughs> excuse me. Okay haul, I guess. Not, nothing too nothing too crazy. I probably should have, you know, kept some of these back at home, I guess. The bayonet pretty much did everything I needed it to do today, so... Anyway, but... Yeah, I mean, look. Some of these things do take a little bit of raw resources for you to, you know, craft just to get to those materials there i mean alcohol does the same thing i mean you need the water um the water skin for that and then i'll show you what i mean actually let's just jump into here if they've got the medicated stuff here i'll be able to show you that hopefully uh doesn't look like it okay here we go so right there i mean obviously you're too far away from home to craft up these sort of things so if you're in your base you can more or less craft it up you know on the spot without having to go to the actual workstation so that's a little fun tip but you need the jar you need the jar you need the jar so ever since the updates dropped you know these things have been pretty important to you know utilize so you do go through a lot of these so my advice is if you actually um come across them or if you tend to just throw them, throw them away for the sake of throwing them away maybe maybe think for two seconds and you know drop something that you may not really need or that you know that you can get you know quite easily again i mean you can craft these you can craft these uh these jars that's not a problem but you do need leather so that's that's basically where it's at so yeah take it how you see it guys but that's the way i'm thinking about it so far but that's pretty much it. I mean, if I were to come back here, and if it doesn't reset, I'm pro I'd probably just use it just to farm all the wood here that I need. And if there's anything else that I really want to take, um, like the copper, the, the tin ore, and all that sort of stuff, I'll probably take that along with me. But otherwise, that will be it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one here. Um, you know, not a not a massive haul, but you know something. So obviously know what you need to do, I guess, if you want to head down this way, what type of resources that you guys expected to get. So hopefully you guys um, enjoyed all that. But we're going to leave it here today. So as always, appreciate you, guys, appreciate you guys a lot for stopping by, checking out the video. But let me know what you think about everything. Hit that like button for me. Comment down below, all that sort of good stuff. Um, and if you guys haven't done so already, if you guys are new, subscribe, notification bell. That's all I ask for. Anyway, take it easy, guys. I'll catch you in another video.